In 2003, the Resource Conservation Challenge, RCC, Scrap Tire Work Group was formed to prevent pollution and promote reuse and recycling, reduce toxic chemicals and products, and conserve energy and materials. It began with a collaboration of 85 members from federal, state, industry, and academia. At the height of U.S. stockpiles of tires in 1990, there were an estimated 12.5 million tons of tires, the equivalent of 25 billion pounds in average tire weight. Plastic waste today is more than twice that amount at 30 million tons, or 60 billion pounds annually. Tire stockpiles have been successfully reduced to manageable levels thanks in part to the RCC Scrap Tire Work Group who helped create new reuse markets for tires such as tire derived fuel, ground rubber, civil engineering projects, rubberized asphalt, agricultural use, molded products and many more uses. By 2008, 85% of waste tires were diverted to beneficial uses. Close the Loop would like to propose a waste plastic work group to work on overcoming these obstacles. Marine debris issues. Six times more plastic than plankton in the Pacific Ocean gyre. Sea life ingesting the plastic or plastic getting deposited on distant shores. What is the effect on hormone disruption of the plastic particles in fish and birds? Albatross ingest post-consumer products, lighters, bottle caps, to feed their chicks and they die. Plastic pieces, nurdles, resemble krill and fish eggs. Birds have higher PCB content in their tissues. Human issues. Plastic is entering our food stream in the form of humans eating fish that have ingested plastics. Consumer education and increased communication about returning and recycling plastics, including labeling and producer responsibility. Recycling MRF material recovery facility issues. The U.S. is shipping more than half our recycled plastic number one, PET, to China and other countries overseas. Why aren't the MRFs selling yours and my recycled plastic to U.S. manufacturers? The U.S. manufacturers need and want this raw material but cannot get their hands on it. Need to better sort the plastics coming into the facility. Distributors and brokers of the waste plastic need to work more transparently with MRFs and U.S. manufacturers. Making the recycling market more transparent and clear so the companies are easily able to access the plastic they need, preferably according to specific quality criteria. Develop better return systems. Have more recycling on-site at landfills to sort, grind, and resell the plastic raw material to the manufacturers. Consumer issues. We need to get better at recycling. Current rate is 8% of the 30 million tons generated annually is recycled. Promote recycling rewards in more areas. Give incentives for people to recycle. Make it easier for people to recycle at home, work, sporting events, etc. Increase the demand for recycled products in your homes, schools, and businesses. Manufacturing issues. U.S. manufacturers are not getting enough raw material resources from the MRFs. On land, stocks of recycled plastic are too, much too small to feed production of sustainable plastic products. The main barrier to using more recycled plastic in home appliances is the scarce and uncertain supply of recycled raw material. Develop applications for using waste plastic in bulk by grinding up many types of waste plastic, not having to go through the expense to clean raw material and use in plastic asphalt being done successfully in India, for example. Most products are not designed with recycling slash disassembling in mind. Development of products increasingly based on recycled plastic. Encourage producer responsibility. Take back at the end of a product's life cycle. For each community of approximately 300,000 people, have a manufacturing plant in or near the recycling center to manufacture new building materials from the recycled plastic. Architectural and construction issues. Be open to trying new product ideas. Specify products made from recycled materials on jobs. Plastic fencing, plastic asphalt, and other recycled building materials. Government issues. Can we legislate against single-use plastics or for producer responsibility? 
provide tax incentives for using recycled plastic or other environmentally friendly materials and disincentives for using single-use plastics. Plastic issues. Plastic does not break down for hundreds or even thousands of years. Many types of plastics. Can we do away with all types but one and two, the most commonly used types? Can you take me back where I came from? Can you take me back? Can you take me back where I came from? Brother, can you take me back? Can you take me back?